Hey, how's it going? Here I am again. This time we have one old vintage Sony digital audio tape recorder, tape deck, as they would say, DTC 700. And it's kind of earlier model than let's say 690. And it's totally different. You would say like if you have 690, you think like this is um, some a little bit more advanced. Well, no, this is a totally different model. It's better. <laughs> uh, let me try to show it inside first. I move this light a little bit. Oh yeah. Now we got more light there. Uh, why it's different? Uh, there's a much more electronics. Uh, it has excellent power board here and uh, look at that huge cap <laughs> and the mechanism is different the major difference is this deck has uh, direct drive motors four motors so less belts and yeah <laughs> let's put some more light so you can see it Mm-hmm, uh, let me see, do I have some tape? Yeah, tape was inside. Uh, you can put it in a play mode. The sound that you hear, the noise is from the my street, New York street. <laughs> so, this one is, let's say, completely serviced because it's working perfectly fine, just fine. Uh, whatever you throw at him, it, it's gonna do it. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I maybe even like the sound of this DA converter better than the sound of, let's say, this one. Even this one is newer and better and sophisticated and aspect serious and everything. But I know the mechanism here is much better than it's in that one. It's simple. This mechanism is more like that you would find on professional Sony that system. Like the one that I have right now and working on, on it, it's PCM 500 or something. It has similar, uh, more metal parts, less plastic. Let's say like that. So it was squeaky, noisy, wouldn't play tapes and stuff like that after some lubrication and, uh, you know, adjusting and stuff like that. Uh, I tested it with all my tapes. I would test it at the beginning, at the end. If there are no drops, that's perfectly fine. And all those tapes are recorded on different machines. I have collection, I have recorded on Tascam, on Panasonic, on uh, Sony, different models. This Tascam here is waiting to be put in the upper place in the system. But this is going to be my keeper for now. I decided to keep it because I like it. I like it more than... I like this one as much as I like the 59 ES. Yeah, I like them both. <laughs> I like them all. But because this one is totally fine, we're going to put cover on it, right? Yeah, it's better now. I mean, yeah, it's good to see how does it look inside. I mean, it's not the perfect condition, but with a nice cleaning it's gonna be mint we cannot fix everything this is actually a scratch on this black metal part uh, if some of you viewers can you know explain how to fix this one if you have any suggestion I mean usually I would I would use a black marker so I it's not the white but that's like a not 
good solution as soon as you clear it it's gonna be white again of course it's good temporary and if you put some other component on top of it you're not gonna see it of course that's the best solution but again if you have some solution for you know refurbishing these black metal parts uh, in cheap easy way and as I mentioned I'm a web designer webmaster uh, this is my hobby and since many people and me would sit in front of YouTube and watch the videos or, or whatever I decided while I'm watching videos why shouldn't I try to repair something and I don't have money or some kind of budget or something uh, it would help if I set up a Patreon or something that some of you viewers could help to buy new stuff and testing and fixing it but yeah sometimes I'm I'm lucky that I would sell something for some decent amount of money so I can buy some other stuff that's not gonna be uh, you know salvageable or whatever so eh, my mission is to show to to archive as much as I can this old stuff that will gonna end up in landfill one day of course some of it will be uh, somewhere in the saved but as you can see I don't have Nakamichi Dragon here <laughs> probably most expensive thing is this JVC 3 head cassette deck because it's direct drive motor that's why I'm deciding to keep this one it's gonna it has direct drive motors <laughs> I mean it has four motors which is very unusual for uh, commercial dots and you can see that of course with professional equipment so uh, the, the another thing is of course uh, it's working perfectly fine that's what, what is amazing everything is just on the spot and with that uh, I, I'll probably made a video I'm gonna make a video I'm gonna record some YouTube copyright free music on this model somewhere in the future because right now I have some other things to do <laughs> some other stuff to repair uh, but uh, we're gonna probably see this sunny dot um, in some other videos I'm trying to hold it for some time I do have a sunny cassette deck three head that it's kind of look alike uh, they are in this from the same age from the same uh, probably years as uh, the those buttons buttons are pretty much similar so it would good would look good if I would put Sony uh, cassette deck three head <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll see all I wanted to make a video with this one and who knows maybe i'm gonna sell it but if, even if i'm gonna sell it i'll try to make another video and you know to show you all the stuff uh, anyway if i show you what can do one that what can do something that they're basically the same so if you learn you know like all those buttons then you know for all that and it's the same for all other that doesn't matter if it's sony or some other company so there is not too much to to be said about all that stuff uh, i mean but uh we're gonna record one tape from analog source or maybe even digital yeah my computer audio card has digital output and then i'm gonna connect digital output right doesn't have to be no it should be analog so we can demonstrate how can you uh, you know master your recording levels because sometimes people will go over and that would make distortion we don't we don't want to do that yeah that would be it for this video see you next time take care